Michael, thank you so much for joining us today and being a part of the magazine. What an honor. Um, I want to tell you that Marquee Magazine is a, uh, we try to strive to be a magazine with purpose and we, more than lifestyle content, we also cover important issues and we dedicate each edition to uh, either a social issue or a worthy cause. And this upcoming one, it's about philanthropy, and I could not think of a better fitting person to be on the cover but you. So uh, I know this means a lot to you, giving back with your great success. What does it mean to you to give back? Prosperitas cum caritate. Prosperity with care. From our perspective, success is a function of being prosperous, yes, but at the same time, doing good for society. Uh, no person is an island unto himself. We all uh, are standing on the backs of many people. What does it mean or what do you think of um, the community coming together now more than ever? How important is this? Well, uh, in every crisis, there are opportunities. This crisis has given us all uh, uh, an opportunity to reset. Because when, when as pre-COVID, things were just going galloping along really well and when things gallop along really well it's difficult to get context right this crisis as, as I said give, gave us an opportunity to reset think about because we are isolated uh, we, we weren't going we weren't dealing with the traffic every day dealing with commute dealing with issues uh, as we were in a frenetic manner before so it has given us time to chill take time out and think about what happiness is because happiness doesn't mean a lot of the material things that we uh, were so frenetically striving for happiness means being together with family uh, with community uh, having a purpose right covid has given us all uh, that opportunity <laughs> when we look back what would have, where was that trajectory taking us but now we can reset be a lot more conscious, come out of COVID, a lot more conscious as to what is important. First concentric circle being family. Second concentric circle being community. And you mentioned family, and I know nothing means the world to you but your family. And you've achieved a lot in your professional career, but you've also achieved a lot for your family. And I know that your family loves you, your children loves you. What does it mean to you to be a role model for your children? Well, uh, we brought them here. We have a responsibility, and especially uh, more so with the, my second lot of children, my twin daughters. When they were born, Sonia and I uh, committed uh, that the, what we want for them, we want for them to be derivatives of us. We want for them to have the same values, attitudes, standards. Uh, therefore, if that is the goal, you work back from that. And what do we have to do today, tomorrow, every day? Well, firstly, we have to be transparent with them. So they have to know when we're happy, we have to know when we're sad, what makes us happy, what makes us sad. They have to know how we solve problems. So therefore, we don't shield them from the issues that, of the day. They're part, they have been part of the day ever since. The issues of the day, good or bad, ever since they were born. So it's, it, it's a lifelong commitment, but starting with what do we want for our children? We want for them to be strong and independent. That's what we want, especially coming from a wealthy family. It's even more important because it is so easy to be distracted by wealth. Very easy to be distracted by wealth. If you're fortunate to have wealth, the responsibility is that you have more of a, 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 a more work to do to make sure your children do not lose or, or do not you, your, your wealth don't impale their success because they don't didn't have to go through what you had to go through lead by example and live by example Canadians who have really admired you know your work and your journey and your success do you have any advice for them uh, for those Canadians who are trying to achieve the same legacy? Three things came to mind. Number one, I'm purpose driven. I don't do anything unless I'm stirred by the cause, the purpose. 
I'm not interested in just doing anything and everything. That's number one, I'm purpose driven. And being purpose driven, uh, you always come up with creative solutions. Even if you don't have resources, you come up with creative solutions because you're purpose driven. And thirdly, being purpose driven, you will persevere. It is the fuel to have you persevere. And being purpose driven allows you to persevere. So creativity, you can't buy that. Uh, uh, perseverance, luckily, is free. Both of creativity and perseverance, they're free, but they're essential elements to be successful. But they come from being purpose-driven. So purpose-driven, creativity, uh, perseverance, and passion. Thank you so much, Michael. I cannot thank you enough for being a part of our upcoming issue. It's truly an honor to work with you and to have you uh, a part of this magazine. Thank you very much for everything. You're most welcome. Thank, thank you. you.